And I think that's overall my intention with these classes is I think so much of being an artist is A, convincing yourself you have the right to be an artist, B, that your art is worthy to be putting attention and time into, um, and or that like your life shouldn't actually be shaped by the fact that art is, you know, sort of a spiritual path for you. Um, so anyways, like just as we are in this space together, like I'm very interested in co-creating it and allowing you all to find your ways in it. This is a, a creative activation with Pisces. And I'm going to pick some lyrics that I'm going to put in the chat. And I want you to pick an element of Pisces that we discussed um, before to be inspired by. Um, so maybe it's something from a dream you had um, or something about a love situation um, or um, something that takes place in the distant future, something about an ancestor um, losing yourself in love. Uh, anything that your imagination feels called to that you feel relates to Pisces energy within you. Um, and then from those two things, write a piece of any kind. So that could be a poem, um, a journal entry, song, love letter, a fiction, the beginnings of a fiction piece, um, a beginnings of a memoir piece or a vision for an art piece or whatever have you. This is what I love about these astrology kind of uh, collective, creative, reflective spaces. Cause I, I really do love all of the ways that people are finding connections and inspirations. And um, definitely like, uh, you know, just even when I saw your art and just thought about the movement of jellyfish and, you know, yeah, like they, they seem like water, but they're form, you know? And I think we often live in the binary of like form and solidity or fluidity and liquidness or wetness, but that, you know, we're finding all of these ways that form and fluidity are actually in constant collaboration with each other with, which to me connects to the artistic practice that, you know, all of it is like, how do we stay fluid, you know, enough so that we could channel and receive, um, but how do we also, you know, explore the forms that feel good to us? Um, and I almost think about like, you know, when you'll see, you know, different sea creatures that can actually get into small little vessels underwater and things like that, you know, like, but their vessel is like almost like a playful thing versus I think sometimes when we think of structure, it can feel like an oppressive thing, you know? So how do we, you know, use all of these ways that nature inspire and can, you know, conspire and, you know, refer us to different ways to approach it. Talking about form, like I think for me with art practice, cause I'm a Cancer sun, um, moon and Libra. And I have a shit ton of Germ Gemini, you know, like Mercury and Mars and Gemini. Um, so there's a lot of mutability. And then I have a Virgo rising, which is also mutable. Um, but I have really been a person that really actually doesn't love thinking about structure typically, you know? Um, and I think a lot of it is because I just would be overwhelmed in thinking about structure sometimes. Um, and I think also, sometimes the structures I would get in my mind would be so specific and perfectionist that it would overwhelm me and shut down, which I think is a Virgo, you know, dimension of things too, that the perfectionism isn't actually always um, productive. It actually can slow down and kind of, you know, fall apart. I wanted to, you know, create a space that I feel like held, you know, both of this fluidity um, as well as structure and thinking about how this moves us into, you know, this art incubation process. I've really been thinking about this session as like, okay, say everybody showed up to the session pregnant with an art dream, you know, vision, something in them that they're not quite sure what it is. I really want us to think about how do we create spaces of kind of doula ship, you know, or, um, you know, creating the right birthing plan 